Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be sitting down and filming and having the time to. <laughs> Things have been a little crazy, but I always feel like I say that, but this time, it, I mean, life is always crazy, isn't it? But just unexpected things, all good things, but just things that I wasn't planning to happen at all. Um, and so I just have not, like I literally have not had the time, period, to sit down and film. So we can talk a little bit about that while we get ready here um, and try some new products, but this is not what this video is really about. It's not supposed to be like, here's what's been happening, life update kind of thing. I just want to sit down and do some makeup. I wanted to film. So that's what we are going to be doing today is trying some products. I think I have like almost a full face, not quite but just new products that have been, literally been sitting here. I have like this little, used to be a candle, but I've been just putting, like accumulating things, new things to me um, that I've been wanting to try for videos and stuff. So I've had some of these things for over like a month, maybe even longer that I've just been waiting to sit down and film and try with you guys. So that's what we're gonna do today. But let's get into some makeup. I wanted to try one of the things that I've had for over a month that I've just have been waiting to try with you is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Glow Foundation and I got this one in fair neutral I was talking in my past videos that like I am having a little bit more trouble figuring out my um, shade lately and I've just been I'm like I think I'm the palest I've ever been in my entire life I didn't really get out this summer at all I didn't even get like a good tan, so with no tan, then I just get, kept getting lighter and lighter and lighter as it got colder out. So I feel like Tarte, usually I'm like in the light category, but I went down to fair because I felt like every single thing that I had was literally too dark for me. And I had like the line of demarcation. <laughs> I just wanted another like juicy, glowy face product base and i also want to try this one because it's a, it's supposed to be like medium coverage so i wanted to do a little bit more coverage usually I do like such light coverage that sometimes sometimes on certain days if i'm wanting more coverage it's just like i just want something else to like grab but we will see if this works but this is supposed to be medium coverage like i said radiant finish blends like a second skin to blur the look of pores okay didn't know it was supposed to be like blurring too Hyaluronic acid and super fruit complex for hydrated, brighter, and smoother looking skin. So I've moisturized skin. I'm just gonna put a little on my cheeks. I kinda like the squeeze too. Makes it easy and quick. And then my Sephora Pro Foundation 56. Oh no. Is that a lot? I'm a little afraid that I'm gonna look like the Tin Man. Actually though starting to look really nice as I'm blending in. I think I maybe just do, did a little bit too much that so now it's like taking a while for me to blend it but I think if I just would have like started with less then it just would have been a little quicker. You know what, what I just did that's really stupid too that I just noticed? I have this a cosmetics brush that I wanted to try. How did I just miss that? That's what happens when you take too long off of filming. You get all flustered and out of whack but this brush it's the number seven brush there's actually two of them that they have like double sided like this where it's like the foundation brush on one and the concealer brush on the other the other one's all black and this one's like black and silver i don't really remember like which one exactly i saw and which one was kind of like i think it like went a little bit viral like i saw a lot of people with this brush and talking about how good it is so i like Ooh. First of all, the bristles are a little longer than I'm used to. See how it's like longer? So it's like, ooh, it feels like bouncy. But what I was gonna say was I don't know if this is the specific brush that people have been kind of talking about and that I've been seeing. But it was one of the double-sided ones, and I think it was this one with the, like, the number seven. With black in the middle and then silver around. 
but it's supposed to be really nice and I oh my god it's soft I just wish I would have remembered to uh, use it like I was planning to but just finish blending all right so the foundation is really nice actually look at that glow and it lays really well it's not doing anything funky I want something that like is easy to apply you don't have to fool with and just looks pretty over the whole skin and that's what this one is that's really nice and i think that color is okay too i have to keep using this obviously and let you know but it's so soft and i feel like it's gonna be really nice but this is not new to me um but i did like i haven't used this in a really long time so it feels kind of new but I thought it'd be fun to get the shape tape again <laughs> but this is the creamy version i've had both the creamy and the regular version and actually, I have the Radiant, like a mini in the Radiant, because I bought this mini to see if I like the Radiant enough to get the full size of it. And I just don't. Like it like separates or something or like, I don't know. So I like the creamy version best. So that's what I got. And this one I got light neutral, which I guess might be a little dark, but it seems to be okay. And I'm just gonna put some. My nose is still red. My chin was a little broken out, so I just have like some dark marks. This little side is supposed to be concealer. Oh, that's nice for under the eyes. But I also think that I would just. <laughs> I'm gonna like fast makeup person <laughs> i like more quick but for like more detailed application like this yeah either side really it's only 3 30 here and the sun's going down that's why my lighting is completely changing every minute but it just gets dark so that's like another reason why it's like so hard to find the time to film it's like by the time i'm done with work it's literally already dark and this is actually a thing that i uh oh we're just gonna have to deal with the light changing a little bit see again if i wait for perfection i'm not gonna ever film so but this is one thing that i tried to wait on to try but i was like literally all like i used up my ilia powder completely i was like i got a gotta use this i need powder so um so i've already tried this a couple times but it's the laura mercier translucent powder and but it's the ultra blur one so the um, little bit of newer edition um and this one i like because it's talc free but i've been really liking it so far i mean i feel like it's pretty dang similar to the regular translucent and i do feel like it's pretty blurring get out of the sun <laughs> So I'm just going to like do under the eyes and basically where I put the, put the concealer. But I am actually really loving this foundation and the way that the shine is not too crazy. And it's kind of still coming through the powder. Yeah, it's like the perfect amount of glow. And I like the combination of the foundation with the concealer. And I don't know if it's because they're just by the same brand but they just look really really pretty together i probably should have waited on powder because i'm gonna do some cream products but i basically just did it like under my eyes and on my t-zone so not really on my cheeks plus like i've used creams over powders before and i've literally never had an issue of it looking bad i know like you're usually doing all your creams first liquids first and then powders but i don't know never really had an issue with it so i'm just gonna go in with my nars my regular bronzer that i love i didn't get any new bronzers or anything but i want to use this brush because i feel like it's gonna be so nice for creams too usually just use my merit brush as we all probably know by now if you're not new here but it is pretty dense i feel like i get a pretty like stark line with it and i kind of like that with bronzer honestly like that doesn't really bother me i like an intense cheek but this one is a little less 
dense, a little bit more like flimsy because the, the bristles are more long and just really soft. So I feel like it's going to give me a really good like diffused application, which yes, I am correct. Looks so pretty. Ooh. So fun to try new new things and new methods like it's crazy how a different brush can even change it so nice and another kind of brush that like is such a universal brush you can use with so many different products cream and powder and liquid next for something new to me is the elf halo glow beauty wand and it's like the blush one of the blush shades this I just got in gratis. Um, I feel like I've heard some really bad things about these and some good. Like I feel like you kind of love them or you hate them. This is candle lit. I've actually, I don't think I've ever owned anything with this kind of sponge top. With the Charlotte Tilbury. It does look like it has like a lock. So that's nice, I think. Yeah, um, maybe. I don't know if the, my lock might be broken or maybe it doesn't have a lock. I probably need to try some new e.l.f. things. I did a full face of e.l.f. video a really long time ago. I have no idea when. A long time ago. And I feel like they weren't quite what they are now. Like with the way that like their products go viral. At that time like I think people liked them. But the way that they have taken over the beauty industry lately like... I mean, even just being at work, like working at Ulta, like the amount of people that come in for e.l.f., like they've had products over and over and over again that have gone viral. Ooh, I think maybe when you close it, it shuts it, like it locks it. I think as you twist, it pushes it down and locks it. I think that's what it's kind of doing. But they've had so many products. So it'd be fun to like do a video like that again, do a full face of Elf again with some of their most viral products. So at the time I don't think that it, I just don't think that they were the way that they are and now they're just, they've always been around, always been popular brand, but the choke hold that Elf has on some people. <laughs> That's literally a highlighter and blush in one. Okay, ready? Oh, look how shiny my cheek looks. Oh my god. Pretty though. Again, I did put some powder down. So I worked over my powder. It's literally not patchy at all. It looks like I applied blush and highlight. No complaints. But that's actually a really pretty color. A color that I think I would definitely pick out myself. I'm going to take a little bit of my Ilia bronzer and just put it on my lids. I always like to have a little, little bronzer base. And also while I'm here, I'm just gonna, I don't have any new brow gel or anything. This one I actually am like, I think running sort of low on, or I should be at least. It's been a while, it's the Merit one. But I'm just gonna do that quick. And then I have the Anastasia liquid liner to try. So it's just in black. I don't know if there's other shades. I don't think there is. But I was actually kind of excited about this because it's in this kind of packaging where like the top's bigger than the bottom and it has like a actual, I think it's actually like a brush. Actually, I think it's just a foam applicator, foam tip. Is that what it's called? But um, this reminds me of when I was, I think high school, I used to, <laughs> the sun, I'm just going to go over here. There are these Sephora um, collection eyeliners and I have no idea if they have any more. I don't think so. I haven't seen them in forever. But it was like this design, but they were like super sparkly and I used to always get the one where the top was green. The golden green like sparkly eyeliner, it was like kind of like a signature thing for me for a while. Like. I would wear that almost every day but it was always so easy to apply because of it being in this form so I'm hoping that this is like super easy for me to apply because for some reason I had no problem 
applying that liquid liner like basically every single day kind of relocated if that works um but basically yeah i'm just excited to try this and it just reminded me of that i should probably find that i like try to find that again i wonder if that exists still be a fun blast from the past i feel like it'd be really fun to do a video of like all the things that i remember wearing like i remember like the first like prestige nice foundation i wore i don't know if i can talk and do this at the same time it was a smashbox i think it was like called like photo finish which doesn't exist anymore i don't think um it'd be fun to like try that that sparkly eyeliner like just thinking about the things that i used to always wear when i first kind of started getting into makeup be fun to do a video using those things, but I don't think most of those things exist anymore. That's a fail so far. It's like dry. They're like the worst eyeliner I've ever done in my entire life. This is, I think, kind of so bad. I was trying to do, I'm going to take that off. It doesn't look that bad on camera, but it looks so bad in person. I think the other one I had, this was shorter, so it was a little easier to control. I think. This feels so hard to control. Cause you're so far away from the point at, like that it touches your eye i thought this was gonna be like easy okay that one's way better okay that one worked but i wouldn't say it was easy i'm annoyed that i had to take off the other one it's actually pretty i'm gonna leave it <sighs> i really want to make it a little bit so I have another day too. I did an eyeliner and it wasn't nearly this bad at all. But I just kept trying to make it like more perfect and more perfect. And it just kept being thicker and thicker. And it was fine. It was just way thicker than I intended. But this, now I'm annoyed that I had to take that off. I got it all over my hand too. Okay, so I took it off and had to redo concealer because obviously wiped away all that um and redid the wing and like i am not even gonna touch it anymore like they're not equal whatsoever but i'm like so frustrated with trying to use this that like i'm not even gonna keep going like thank god i don't have to go anywhere tonight <laughs> i mean they're they're not that bad like it's not like it's like horrendous but and I'm just like not about to take the time to do that. This is probably gonna go in the garbage, honestly. I'm glad I got it for free because that's bad. I did not like that at all. And I had such high hopes too. I was like, this could actually be so much easier than just like a pen liner because I used to like the other one. No, nope. way harder. You're way further away. It's so much harder to control. It's kind of like a drier formula. Like I feel like it doesn't just like nicely like swoop on. It kind of like, I don't know, just not good. And I have it all over my hands too because it's like kind of like thick and goopy and it gets under eyelashes. And then like, I don't even know how this happened. But anyway, it's just bad. It's just a no for me. It's just no. I had high hopes and now it just made me frustrated. <laughs> but next product I have to try is the FanFest mascara from benefit i feel like i haven't heard a ton about this i've seen a lot of marketing for it i've seen a lot of like hype but i don't know if i've seen anyone really talk about it but i like like the curve of the wand kind of has like a little and i think you can you know use it either way obviously like this or flip it and use the back side i'm gonna use this a couple times before I make my final decisions about this mascara because my eyelashes are goopy from that eyeliner. So if they look super like stuck together and goopy, it's probably because of the eyeliner. I'm just gonna we're just gonna have we're just gonna lay back and do our makeup, you know? That's how the cool girls do it. I literally can't see what I'm doing this far away from my mirror. Like right here. 
big old clump from the eyeliner. I also like it's hard to see because my eyeliner is thick. <laughs> So my eyelashes are just peeking out of the top. I mean, not bad, it's hard to tell. So we'll keep using it. I just like literally can't even tell. But I think they're good. I mean, it looks, they look really long. Okay, last thing. <laughs> last thing before we lose the sun for the night. And also like, what a goofy, obviously unorganized video this is, but you know, I'm here. Okay, Fenty, Fenty Icon Velvet Liquid Lipstick. I've not even worn a liquid lipstick in so long. I am not a huge lipstick wearer. I like lick my lips, bite my lips, all, all of that way too much, I feel like, to wear something as like permanent as a liquid lipstick, but we're gonna try it. This is in the MVP, so literally bright red. I actually love this color with the sweater too. The sun. It's kind of fun to wear like a actual lipstick. That's a little nerve wracking. Maybe I should have done some lip liner first. Ooh, the light just. I'm losing the sun. Wow, what a pretty color. It's so like opaque and like. Bam. It is such a fun like holiday color. Perfect for Christmas. I feel like it's appearing in the camera a little bit more like orangey and bright and like neon-y. And in person I feel like it's like this true, and it is a brighter red, it's not like a deep red. But it is like a true red in person. I feel like it looks a little more orangey in camera, but wow, it's actually really pretty. Another thing with liquid lipsticks, it's kind of like liquid eyeliner. It's like, feels like it has to be perfect. I see every little, like, I'm like, I could make this a little bit, a little bit more. But I'll just keep going and going and then I'll just mess it up. Does it need to be perfect? That's the makeup. It turned really into like a classy liquid eyeliner and red lip situation real fast. Like, what a classic look. <laughs> okay. I do feel holiday-like and glamorous. So that is the makeup. We're um, really losing light now, but that's okay because we are done. We tried the things and now my thing is empty again. I'm so happy that I finally was able to sit down and try these things finally. So that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed trying these products with me enjoyed this video definitely give it a like if you did and subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me hopefully a lot more regular than i've been lately thank you so much for watching Kobe's fast asleep on the couch random couch that's not staying another thing that's just just moving furniture around in this apartment but i will see you next time bye <laughs>